Santa Ana winds are one of Southern California's most recognized weather features, especially from the fall to the spring. It's one of the most impactful weather patterns we can have in Southern California. I mean, everybody hears about the wildfires in Southern California and the driving force behind that are these Santa Ana winds. These are northeasterly offshore winds that descend in elevation and can sometimes reach hurricane force strength. So when you get the very hot, the very dry conditions combined with very strong winds, we can have some Santa Anas that have winds gusting over 100 miles per hour. These winds originate from high pressure over the Great Basin with low pressure off the coast. Winds flow from high pressure to low pressure and the stronger the gradient or pressure difference between the two, the stronger the winds can be. As the winds get closer to sea level, they speed up, dry out and heat the air. It can actually warm on a, on a rate of almost 30 degrees Fahrenheit per mile. The combination of hot, dry and windy conditions contributes to a number of changes to the weather, including record setting temperatures and most notably dangerous fire weather conditions. Fire has crested this hill here. I would say that our strongest Santa Ana's are probably in the early morning hours, say just before sunrise, just after sunrise, when you have a better chance of having very hot temperatures that can naturally bring that relative humidity even lower in the afternoon. Santa Ana's last around the clock, sometimes days in a row with little to no relief. Fortunately, forecasters are able to spot this pattern up to six to seven days in advance. We may not have the exact time of when that might peak between a certain six or 12 hour period, but we can provide the fire agencies information with the idea that say a week from now, Things are setting up that we could have a pretty strong Santa Ana. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Meredith Garfalo.